Hi, James here and uh, in this video, I want to show you about this uh, extension by Vistia which is called Soapbox which allows you to make screen capture recordings uh, in a, just by using a Chrome extension. So let's head on over to the screen and I will show you what I mean. This is a Chrome extension so you need to install the extension and I will show you in the link below where you can actually install that extension. Now I've actually ex uh, included the extension already. So and you need to log in to your uh, Google account to use uh, Soapbox. So the, right here at the screen, there will be a, a camera icon over there, right? The blue icon over here. And in order to start recording, you just click on the blue button and you will see that the menu comes up, say Soapbox, Screen and Webcam Recorder. So I'm just going to click on it. And it says that you need to sign in with Google. So I'm just going to sign in with Google. All right. So right here, uh, straight away on the screen right now, uh, you will see that the screen has actually divided into three sections. So some of the tips by, by Vistia or by this uh, extension is that it tells you to either sit right at the center of one of those uh, bars so that you will be positioned correctly for that. Right, so there is an option over there as well if you click on it. Now, if you are logging in for the first time, there will be an option and some tips that help you get started. Okay, so let me just click on the option to show you. All right, so what's the audio source? Right, the audio source is I have a few. I am going to select my microphone USB, and for the video, I'm going to select my Logitech HD webcam, which is connected, and uh, you will see it in this recording. Okay, so there's other options as well. Uh, let me just click on all videos. Right, so when I click on all videos, you show you, you will bring up an option to show um, you all the videos that you have recorded prior to uh, making this recording. Okay, so let me just click on the account. Over the account, you can see that Soapbox is a new product under active development. So there may be some bugs here, something weird right and uh, may actually not save your video for example right or cause uh, chrome to crash right, so i'm going back to the videos here so this was my first recording that i've done some time back in june so let me just click on the icon again to bring this menu up okay and i'm going to click on start recording so let me just go and click on uh, share the screen so right now uh, soapbox is actually recording the screen that I am, uh, the, the screen that I'm on right now. So there is only an option to stop recording. So let me just go over to Google and let's uh, search for something and make a short video of the screen capture. So let me head on over to my website here, jamesu.net, and uh, let me just go and browse to some of the things on my site right now. Alright, so you can see my blog, my resource, my training. And so I'm going to stop the recording right now. And you can see what else is going to happen. Right now, uh, an untitled recording has been made. And this is a recording over here. Okay, and I could actually edit the title. Okay, I'm just going to leave it as, or maybe I'm going to change the title to a test recording. Number three. Okay, and uh, click done. Okay, so there is a few things that you can do uh, with uh, this recording right now. All right, I can play it. In order to play it, all that you need to do is to press on the space bar. Right, and you can see that it is playing. Okay, if, you, if I press the space bar again, the video stops. Right, there is also a play button over here. Okay. So besides that, there is actually what I call a video playhead, if you can notice down there, right? So this video playhead is something you can move along and you can actually insert something over there. Okay, you can insert the break. And when you click this, there are three options that comes up. One is for you to show, to choose an option to show the webcam and the screen at the same time. If you choose the middle option over here, it's actually just showing the screen. If you want to show just your webcam, this is what it will look like. So 
I am going to choose, uh, let's say, the screen, right? So for this part over here, the first part over here, it will be for both me and the screen. And over this section, it will transition over to just the screen. And just for, in for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to add another transition and say transition back to uh, me and the screen as well. Now, if you want to remove the uh, transition, you can click on it and click on the trash can, and that will be a you will delete that transaction, uh, the this uh, transition. Okay. So here you also have the option to zoom in and zoom out. So let me just say I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All right. So you can zoom in to a certain section, and it saves automatically. Okay. So let's uh, continue. Let's click done. All right, and finally, the last point here is where you can actually trim your video. So by moving the scissors here, that will end will be a trimming of the video. Okay, you can also create a thumbnail, take photo. All right, so it actually allows me to take a new photo. Or I can actually select the screen here. So I'm just going to do a photo. Okay, let's uh, see how it is done. And... All right, so it's done and it's saved. I'm going to remove this uh, transition. I do not want this part. I also do not want this. I'm just going to remove it. And basically, that's it. I can actually click on Share to copy the thumbnail to the clipboard or copy the URL. So I can I have copied it. Let me open up another browser so that uh, let's see what are the options. As I copy this thing over there. When I'm not signed in, this is what you will see. So it's called test recording. So, and uh, this comic with uh, Soapbox, easily record, edit, and share. Okay, I'm going to play it. So you can see the recording over there. Okay, one other thing that I wanted to mention is that within uh, the Soapbox, if you open the Chrome extension, right? So let me just show you how what I mean. Click to the Google. Uh, on the Chrome, you find more tools. Click on extension. And if you scroll down to the uh, Soapbox extension, there are other options. Okay, and these options include screen capture by changing the dimensions. Uh, that would depend on your actual dimensions of your laptop screen or your computer screen. So depending on what you have, you can choose that. I'm going to leave it as the actual di uh, dimension. For screen capture, you can actually decide on the bit rate that you want. So for screen capture, I suggest you go at least 20 and for my normal screen capture that I'm doing uh, with the different software, I even go for either 29.97 to match it to any webcams that I'm um, using or cameras that I'm using, or even go up to 30. So screen capture bit rate, the higher the bit rate, of obviously you have better quality video. In my tutorials, I suggest that if you are capturing a larger screen or even the screen size at this dimension, to at least go for two to two and a half megabits per second, okay. And for desktop media option, you can select, uh, you should select options, applications, and tab. And early on in my video, because I didn't select this, there is only being able to capture the screen, and there's no options to capture a tab. For webcam capture maximum width, my webcam can capture up to one nine twenty, but for most screen captures, I believe that if you go for one two eight. Uh, 1280 is good enough and the higher the, the bigger the video that you capture it will require more resources from your ca computer for webcam capture bit rate uh, frame rate i would suggest you go for 30 otherwise if it's too slow you will see jutters and jitters especially if you are recording a person uh, moving and also for webcam bit rate i suggest you go up to two and a half megabits per second in order that you have better quality video. What are my thoughts about uh, Soapbox and uh, Vistia? Well, one of the things that you can't do with this uh, Chrome extension is that you actually can't download the video, which is actually a disadvantage in my opinion. The good thing about it is that it allows you to do some simple edits. Uh, however, obviously you can't join two video clips together. So that is also, uh, also a major disadvantage. So I suggest that you uh, take a look at my written review and I will give you a, a little bit more thoughts about that. 
So thanks for watching this uh, video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please uh, hit on subscribe so that you won't miss any uh, new things that I release uh, onto my channel. You can also head on over to my website at jameswood.net uh, for other, uh, other information on causes on creating videos. And finally, do something small today to build a better business.